Let's talk about the watch list on the free TradingView mobile app on iOS and iPad. So what you see in front of you right now is a highly curated and custom watch list made for the TradingView mobile app on iPhone. And you can build a watch list just like this because here's the key. Whether you're at the beach or whether you're at your office or commuting and you're on a train, you can open up the TradingView mobile app and get a feel and get data and get insights on global markets or your portfolio or anything of the sort if you build a watch list just like this. Literally, we can be anywhere and very quickly see what's happening with all the symbols that we care about neatly organized. So let's get started. How do you build the watch list? The first step is look at the plus icon at the top right you're gonna see that plus icon turn blue here or not blue but slightly gray it means that we are pressing that right now so now we're gonna let go and now the watch list opens so check it out again click the plus and the watch list opens from here we can type in any symbol company crypto or Forex pair that exists and it will show up in the list and then we can add these symbols to our watch list by clicking the plus icon we get a huge check because that check is showing that the symbol has been added so really all we have to do is know how to search for symbols and it could be anything if you're interested in for example forex you could just type in the exact symbol name of a forex symbol and you'll see all that are available to you and get those added on your watch list as soon as possible now you may notice that we have these watch lists currently or these symbols added to our watch list at the bottom because by default that's where they will be added and you can also see there's an add symbol button to do that again so you can also scroll to the bottom of your watch list to be able to add symbols and just tap that now once your watch list is created created all you have to do is organize it in your manner and there are a few ways to do this the first we want to show you is look at Google G O O G L we're gonna press and hold and move up so press hold and drag up here we go and now what we can do is move it anywhere on our watch list if you move the symbol all the way to the top of your watch list it'll just start to instantly fly you through your watch list so that you can place this in the perfect point so what we're doing right now is we are moving our equities from the bottom of our watch list currently to the top and we're going to show you why we're moving them to the top because you'll notice that we have some sections here this is the US equity section see the gray text there and if we scroll down just by flicking our finger now we're in the US sectors section where we can follow things like the materials sector or the energy sector if we scroll down we have a commodity section if you want to add sections yourself and build a very custom and perfect watch list like this all you have to do is find the symbol that you want to go a little deeper on or add a section in and press and hold but don't move your finger as if you're gonna drag it anywhere so look at AAPL we're gonna press and hold and now we get a list of options available to us we can open the chart which is just what it sounds like we've just opened up an Apple chart but there are more options we can press and hold Apple we can open the symbol screen and now we get some data about Apple and we can customize our view of that data and we can look at some quick charts there's some fundamental information here there's a news feed a mines feed where traders and investors are sharing mines this means ideas specifically about that symbol this is where you can collaborate with others just about that symbol as well as ideas which are more like trade ideas uh, investment pitches or or a sort of chart uh, uh, publishing process so that investors and traders can read and follow along charts from others we can go into this in more detail but we really just want to keep this video right now focused on the watch list because this is the start of our mobile series so there's a lot more that you can do here as well we've shown you now how to create a watch list we've shown you how to add symbols and reorganize them we've shown you now that you can press and hold to get more options for each symbol 
you can also tap a symbol. So let's go ahead and tap AMZN. See Amazon right there? We're gonna tap it. When we tap the symbol like that, you will once again get this symbol page delivered right in front of you. And from here, you can open up the chart or look at different time frames, all depending on your needs. You can see we're at one day, five days, one month, year to date, one year, and all. Now look at the button just above all. It's got four brackets. If you click that button, you will also now head over to the chart. And we will make a video very soon about the chart so you can learn how to add drawing tools to your chart or indicators, how to create alerts. We just click the plus button. The drawing uh, tools are just what it sounds like. Look for the drawing icon. But once again, this is a watch list specific video. We want to make sure that you know everything about your watch list. Now, Look at the top left of the screen. You're going to see three little rows there. It's right now they're gray. You can see hopefully that it's lighting up at the top left. So we're gonna go ahead and tap this and this is where you can create multiple watch lists. So you, you just guessed it. You can have tons of watch lists here and you can see exactly what we're doing. We've got a watch list for webhook alerts. So you, we have a watch list specifically to send alerts to the TradingView Discord server. We also have a markets watch list, which is actually what we just sh were showing you. This is the markets watch list we've created, but we can do so much more as well and even make lists based on the specific color. And you can swipe on these lists as well to quickly edit them or delete them. In this instance, we don't plan on deleting any or editing any, but we wanna make sure you know that that is possible. If you wanna add a new watch list, it's just like uh, you would adding a symbol, go find the plus button, look at the top right, see now it's a, it's a, dark, a light, darker gray, light gray. If you click that plus button, you can say, you know, this is an example watch list and then click create. And now we've just created a brand new watch list and to add a symbol, let's go ahead and click add symbol. Uh, how about we add gold to this watch list and USDJPY. And how about we keep going down till we find some other interesting symbols. How about QQQ and let's do one more. How about your JPY? And now we close and we've just created a four symbol watch list as quickly as that. So this is your watch list. This is your home base. These are the key features that you want to know, that you want to master and that you want to get really good at. A few other tips before we head out of here and really you know, let you go get the app and start experimenting is you'll see on Google there is a little bell next to Google. That means we have an alert created on Google. So if you tap Google, you get the simple page. You can also see that there's this uh, alert icon here that we have. These alerts signify that we have some alerts that have been triggered before or potentially are already being, you know, they're active and they could be triggered in the future. You can click add alert to add an alert anywhere on this chart. You can really add an alert in a matter of seconds like this. So this brings us back to the importance of the watch list once again. Let's say you do build a perfect watch list just like this. Now you can follow your favorite symbols or your portfolio or potential trades from anywhere. And the next step, once you have a perfect watch list process built, is you can tap a symbol, you can head to the chart, or you can tap the symbol and you can add an alerts instantly just by dragging the alert button here to the price level that you think is necessary. So let's go to a year to date chart in this example. And we wanna get alerted when Netflix hits new highs. So here's our year to date chart. If Netflix goes to new highs on the year and closes above them, we wanna get alerted. So we just clicked the check, the alert's been set. Now let's go back to our watch list, look at Netflix, we have an alert. And for the sake of this video, why don't we add a few more alerts because it is so fast to do and it is so helpful because now you can let the TradingView app work for you, meaning, the TradingView app is now your sidekick. You don't have to follow markets 24 seven. You can see that you have alerts here that are set very quickly, very efficiently at levels that you wanna be alerted at. And what we did is we created a Tesla alert just a second ago at its most recent all time high. This is an interesting example because here's Apple, it's sold off. Let's get alerted if Apple ever snaps back to these highs. So we, we drag the price up, click the check, 
and we have another alert. And check out our watch list now. We not only have a perfectly organized watch list by the type of asset it is or sector, but we also have alerts running. So this is a masterful way to get started with the TradingView watch list on the mobile app for iPhone and iPad. We will make some videos about Android as well. If you're on Android, there are a lot of similarities there. And the key is just to get the app. It's totally free and get started. It's really one of the quickest ways to learn. Once the app is in your hands, all of this will become intuitive over time. And before we head out of here in the menu, so look at the bottom right, it says menu. We'll go back to watch list. Bottom right, watch here. We're gonna tap menu in the menu. Now find the settings button. Settings button. You can see the settings button is right there below the username. There are some additional features for you about the watch list and we're always adding features here because everyone follows their favorite companies a little bit differently or wants different workflows. And for example, you can turn off symbol logos and you can turn off the symbol screen just by tapping these toggles. So you would no longer see the symbol screen. Instead, if you're on the watch list, and this is off, you'll just go right to the chart. So if you recall, there was a symbol screen before. Let's go to Google. Before there was a symbol screen where we could add alerts quickly, but now we turn that off, it just goes right to the chart. So you have customizations here as you get better and better with using the TradingView watch list. But once again, the key is take all of these tips that we've just been demonstrating to you and make sure that you go check it out. So on that note, there's one more thing and this is for the traders and investors who love news and we're going to make a video about the news tab but one more tip if you stuck around this long this is some alpha for you there's a news button there at the top you can see look at the top it is flashing that's because we're sort of trying to get your attention to tap this all you have to do is tap it tap that news icon and you can get news by the watch list of your choice so we all have different watch lists, portfolios, symbols that we follow, trades or investments that we're thinking about. If you build a watch list, you can get news specifically for that watch list. So in this case, you'll get news about all of the symbols that you mostly care about on that watch list delivered to you right here. Highly relevant, highly customized just for you from some of the best news sources out there for the symbols that you want to watch. So, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for watching. This is the watch list feature on the TradingView app. It's free. Go get it. Be sure to try all of these features and tools, and we look forward to hearing your feedback. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Press like, share a comment.